In this video we are going to talk about how to plan safely um, based on your previous uh, velocity. In Scrum Desk, once you have a uh, longer history, you can track how much you achieved in every sprint in a reports part uh, on a velocity chart. Velocity chart displays the number of completed backlog items per sprint or it can di uh, display story points or even time. Every bar represents the number of completed items right now. So as you can see in sprint 14, we completed only six items. However, we plan a little bit more, like 12. Uh, on the chart, you will see three lines, which represents the minimum, the maximum, and the average effort uh, you've been able to achieve in every sprint. So this is the scale uh, where it's pretty safe to plan and especially the value of the average last eight sprints, this green line. These values are used by Scrum Desk to help you with your planning. So when I will click plan and let's say that we are going to plan the next sprint, I'm going to add new sprint Spring 16 Let's drag it to the right side of the pane and as you can see it's pretty empty empty right now but here you will see capacity indicator. This indicator is displayed only for sprints which are currently planned and you will see three bars here. The maximum velocity average of the last eight sprints and the minimum velocity. I means the number of items. E means an effort story points and uh, T means remaining time. So based on this, uh, let's say that you are a product owner and you would like to prepare your sprint up to the level that your team is able to accomplish. The first thing for what I'm going to do is to drag my items up to the limits indicated by capacity bar. So let's put the first one from the perspective of number of items. Scrum Desk indicates green bar, which means so uh, we are fine, but from the effort we are moving much closer, dragging another card to, to the sprint, you will see that your effort, it will it's already a little bit higher than uh, the team is usually able to accomplish uh, per one sprint. So based on this, I would say that uh, it's pretty enough prepared for the sprint because the effort is uh, quite similar to the throughput of the team. This way, capacity indicator helps product owners prepare their sprints much better and team is spending much shorter time during the planning because they don't need to go through a lot of user stories which will never be able to accomplish in the sprint.